enemy within will not have access on you. I said the enemy within. I said the enemy within. In everywhere we go, we have enemies. Amen. Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, against principalities and powers. He has made us being aware that the enemy is really, really targeting us. We the Christians, we the chosen ones. You know, Bible says that behold the perfect man, behold the upright, for the end of that man is peace. And he says, the peace I leave unto you, not that the world give it, but I give it unto you. So every child of God must have peace. Say peace. How do say peace? And it's not worldly peace, the peace that surpasses, surpasses all human understanding. Amen. But, be, but before peace will prevail, we must diagnose and digest certain people within the church that hinder the peace of God that comes into our lives. Are you here with me, church? Uh, we got to talk about it. There are some people that they are mingling with us, but within their heart and within their spiritual antennas, uh, there are certain kind of questioning, there are certain kind of, you know, demonic weapons that we got to deal with it. We have some enemies within. Amen. There are some enemies within your home, your church, your environment, your societies. There are enemies, the enemies. You cannot, you know, abort enemies. Enemies are always around you. But church, let me tell you something. There are some enemies within. There are some places where you go and you feel so heavy. You feel, you feel some something you feel that within you there is something around you that is not connecting into your spirit and you have been noticing this thing for so many times in your environment it could be even where normally you visit your sisters and your brothers amen if within people that you associate with there are some people who have negative you know ideas concerning your progress and you, you better not take it for granted. Because I will say we wrestle not against flesh and blood, against principalities and powers. He has made us to understand that there is no any means as a child of God, you will not battle enemy. The, you know, folks, the enemy is entitled to come into your life, but you're supposed to be the winner. When they come, have a way to overcome them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You can encounter destinies only after you have dealt with enemy within. You can encounter what? Destinies only if you can know how to deal with the enemy within. Amen. Who is the enemy? Who is the enemy? Hallelujah. The enemy is someone who actively oppose your interest. Say after me. Say actively oppose, oppose your interest. So like, 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 like anything good concerning your life, the enemy is not happy about it. They may laugh with you, they may salute you, they may be with you, but behind the scene, they are doing you. Wave your hands unto God. Any spell, I command it in the name of Jesus to destroy. I command the veils to be lifted. Let there be a testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be a turn around in the name of Jesus Christ. If your business is not working by the superiority and by the power of God, let it be activated right now in the name of Jesus. May your business run and run and run faster and acquire certain clients. May you have a promotion at work. May you become well known, your business well known. May the Lord connect you to the businessmen, the rich men, the affluent men, the very important personalities. Are you here with me? Say yes. If you believe me, say yes. Any spells cast within your borders are declared. Let the, the spells be removed in the mighty name of Jesus. We remove every spell, every demonic attack, every witchcraft, any utterances declared against you, curses, pronouncement from the pit of hell, die 
and destroy in Jesus name amen the first enemy within your environment is yourself see yourself <laughs> your weakness can kill your destiny faster than any deadly disease your weakness so the first enemy that torment you is yourself. <laughs> yourself can damage you. The way you see yourself, the way you carry yourself, the way you approach the issue can be the enemy within to destroy everything that God has purposed for you. There is something about yourself. King Ezekiah and King Saul had the same problem. Yourself can damage you. King Saul purposed to disobey God. And that caused him to be the troll from the troll. Your self-appearance and your self-approach can deter your blessings from you. The way you approach things, yourself, yourself, watch out. Yourself is the most powerful tool to defeat you or to lift you. If I don't have it, I will not pretend to wear Gucci suit to show to people that I have it. Mm. I am not here with you, church. <laughs> I can present myself physically to people that I am okay, but within my own confined area, I am not okay. Just because I saw a certain guy who is wearing goosey shirt, so I got to go enforce and make sure I have a goosey shirt. Sister, at the moment you put on yourself, you are allowing your opportunities and your helper to flee. You know, in churches here, we have many helpers. And if I tell you, most of us, our helpers is just around us. And we can't find them just because of the way we present ourselves if your helper is sitting down here and you are wearing chanel or you wear uh, what they call uh, Rolex watch once you know that you can't pay your bill will you think that that helper can rise up to help you it is impossible so our self can deter the people who God called to help us to stop. And God has given us the mandate to choose. It is a choice. You can let yourself predict for you and predict your future, or you can let yourself destroy you. Wave your hands. Self. Self is very important. Self. Cut your coat according to your size. If I have not been to university, never tell someone I have been to university. It might be there is a lecturer who is even trying to help you to enter into university. But out of your pride, self can damage. Christian self has made us to become stagnant. But tonight in the name of Yeshua and Messiah, every self-wish and self-willing, if it's not from God, let them be aborted and evicted in the name of Jesus Christ. Self. Self. King Saul. I will say King Saul. Took it by himself. Consulted 
certain demonic entities for them to have access of what God want to do in the life of Israel. This man couldn't wait, impatient, self, impatient, making sure, inquire from the, from the fetish priest, from the soothsayers. Whilst the prophet had not come, self, made Saul, took by himself to sacrifice without the order of God. Self, self can damage you. Yourself is one of the fertile instrument that can cause you to lose or to win. That is why it is better for every Christian to be humble when it comes to the things of God. Because your helper could be around you and you will never find. I was in a church recently in New Jersey. A woman who had been praying about helper, homeless woman, sat at the back. A man came from nowhere who was one of the millionaires, footballer, entered there because her fiance, his fiancé was in the church. Entered there, saw the woman sitting at the back. What actually happened? What ill did? The man entered in, saw the woman, and the Lord put the woman's desire in the heart of the man. And after the service, the man just called the woman and said, do you have a place that you stay? The woman said, I have been here and this is where I live. I live in this temple. I'm a caretaker in this temple. And my wife told me that you have been here for a long time. And he's feeling pity for you. You know what? I have a check for you. When he went to the car, wrote a check. Do you know how much? $200,000. And said, go and look for a house. And rent it and make sure you have, a, you have some money to do business. Why? The woman did not go and buy anything expensive to wear. And the Lord brought his deliverer into the house of God. In the house of God, when you serve faithfully, the Lord opened the doors for you. If you don't serve well, God never brings the glory because yourself is not detecting for you. Yourself can detect for you. Yourself can detect for you. It can predict you. It can predict your future. It can cause you to end up predicting certain dangerous futures into your life. But I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that may you divinely approach the right one, the one who God has ordained for you, to approach your helper is within your environment let yourself be connected to god he, she met the man at church self you don't become greedy greedy help each other because you don't know who will help you in future don't be self self is the most strongest enemy within I can do it I don't need anybody's help <laughs> don't you know I am the most beautiful woman in this world I know you can confess these things when we are praying. Decree a thing, it shall be established. But you don't show off. Do you know I am a richest man in the world? Do you know who is the richest man in the world? You don't know. Don't be pride. Yourself can damage you. Saul, King Saul, because self, self damaged him. He lost his throne. You will not lose your throne in the name of Jesus Christ. Number two, disobedient. Disobedient. Say disobedient. 
And one person we discovered that he was totally disobedient. Man in the Bible is Samson. <laughs> when you were about to be born, when you were in your mother's womb, there was prophecy, there was predictions. God made it clear to your mother that you were a child to be born to save the people of Israel. And the Lord told them what to eat and what not to eat. And the things he qualified to do and what not. But because of his stature. And because of the strength and power and mind. He thought he has arrived. Disobedient is birth based on our pride. Whenever pride set in, means you have allowed yourself to rise above God. And whenever self makes you arise above God's decrees and God's laws, that's when disobedient bed in. Like what happened to Lucifer? When pride came to him, self that's the word self. Self had access to lift him above God. And God said, how dare you to disobey me? So the enemy within is not the one outside. The enemy within is you. I repeat. The enemy within is not your sister. Who is outside there. They may get access to you. Based on what you have already created. Or you have established. <laughs> Wave your hands. So self is the center of all the attractions. Samson went to the Philistine city just because he met a certain beautiful lady. Whilst it was a custom in Israel for not Israeli to marry to a foreigner. And it was predicted by Elohim that none of his people the right to marry to the Philistines. But a man thought, I have arrived. You know, when you think you have arrived, you have not arrived. Destinations cannot be predicted. Jesus Christ. The race are not for those who are skillful. And those who are very fast runners. Adabashataya. Time and chance. Do what? Happens to them all. But at times, some have patience to get there. But some will not have patience. And they won't get there. And it's not those who can run faster. You may be the first today. But tomorrow may be someone then. And that's the way it is. Hallelujah. So the enemy within is you. Your disobedience into the things of God qualifies your enemies to come as an intruder to oppose you. What attract enemies to your household or your own destiny is your disobedience and yourself. Christ in you, the hope of glory. 
out of your belly flows rivers of living waters. Arise and shine for the light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen. When it talks about all the scriptures, you are a bona fide or an angel or a reservoir of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost reservoir is in you. You carry a supernatural capabilities. Power to excel in life. But what activate those powers? What activate the power of God to have influence over all these enemies? It's about yourself. You have to obey Christ. Don't be disobedient. Be a listener. Be a doer of the word of God. I am tired. All oh, this prophet comes, they talk about this, they talk about that. I am tired. I am tired. Disobedience has set in. You don't know when the Lord will bring your miracle. You don't know when the Lord will bring that prophet to speak to your life that your life will be transformed. It is just a little while, yet a little while, the Lord thy God should shake himself one more time. He will shake himself one more time. Just because the other prophet came and nothing happens and he went to the other church, he came, lay hands on you, nothing happens. You think God cannot perform miracles? Ah, he is a miracle working God. And when he comes into your time and your season, he fulfills his will and he's going to fulfill it. I see 2017, 2018, after this 21 days fasting, Bible say, they that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength and they shall mount up with wings as what? You shall fly after this fasting and prayer. I see your money flying, flying. I see your business flying. I see elevation in the name of Jesus Christ. You will never die before your time in the mighty name of Jesus. Tell someone yourself. 